Okay. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I look like that doctor in Back to the Future. With his white hair everywhere, all over the place. And he goes, great, great Scots! Now, watch the magic of the magic of smartphone technology. I am going to at an instant get a very uh, Jason, Jason, Jason is bothering me. Jason, stop. I can't concentrate, Jason. Alright, uh, Jason is muted for a little bit. Although he speaks very he speaks of the heart. His Holy Spirit. He definitely has the indwelling Holy Spirit. Jason. This is a, a YouTube channel is called Jason Blood Church. And I highly recommend it. And I also highly recommend a channel called um is it Whosoever? Let me see. I forget. Um I just want to get this right because they're really good channels and guys you know the channels you know it's very true we need to be in our scriptures and our Bibles more than ever and let me tell you the other day I um, I read um, 1 Peter and I hadn't read it in a, in a while and when I when I read it wow dude the 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 spirit inside of me just came just went ablaze it went on fire and that's what god's word does so i just want you to understand that that all these youtube videos none of the none of these people are god <laughs> and although they may they have well intentions and they're reading from scripture Nothing replaces you reading scripture yourself with your own eyes and interpreting it for yourself. Your Holy Spirit will interpret it. And the Holy Spirit guides you into all truth, just like the scriptures say. So, just remember that. Um, Alright, let me see what the other guy's name is. His, name's, his name is Bruce, but let me see. Oh, and if you really want to know what's going on, like, like in the U.S., from a um, um, the man believes in God. I don't. Uh, he's, he's still on his on his spiritual journey, like we all are. Um, he's still working out his salvation with fear and trembling. But his 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 website is called uh, Monkey Works US. Monkey, the word monkey. And works is W, it's Whiskey Echo Romeo X-Ray, W-E-R-X, and then U-S, Umbrella Sierra, all right? So Monkey Works U-S, and you'll see him. He has a lot of uh, situational reports called sit reps, and basically it's eyes in the sky, and he's ex-military, um, and he... Uh, you just from the eyes in the sky and tracking certain uh, airplanes and watching them go offline all of a sudden um, and then not only that but he watches marine traffic as well um, I mean he has a watch list of certain things that he watch he, you can tell a lot about what's going on with the supply chain the ports in Shanghai that are open now but Shanghai is still in lockdown and Sri Lanka uh, I, mean, I mean Sri Lanka Sri Lanka what a sad sad state of affairs it's almost like an experiment there's like two million four hundred thousand people living on that on that um, on that island I guess you would call it and they're just completely cut off from the world because there's no fuel there's no, they, they, ran, they ran out of fuel, they ran out of food, pretty much, there's just whatever is left on the island, and you know this because you can see, 
um, from Monkey Works US, his uh, his sit reps that you can see the marine traffic going into the major port there, and there's nothing going in, nothing going in, nothing. It's been like that for 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 a couple of for a couple of weeks, and nobody's really covering it. Nobody wants to go there. And this is what this evil world, the evil dictators in this world, like the World Economic Forum and many other entities that are satanic in origin, are trying to do. And they're really trying to depopulate the world. And uh, just like the Georgia Guidestones, if you don't know about the Georgia Guidestones, do a Google do a Google search while you still can, while you still can get accurate information. Well, that's not really true because a lot of it is not accurate. But um, they've come out out of the closet, and they have nothing to. They've come out in, in, in dominance out of the closet because um, there's nothing stopping them now. Somebody needs to be unleashed into this world. A person that in this great chaos that's in this world right now is going to be Mr. Fix-It-All. And he's going to come and, and everyone's going to love him and, and trust him and Jewish people are going to worship him as Messiah, but he's not Messiah. Um, he's going to be very flamboyant. He's going to have the answer to everything. He is, and he's going to say that uh, that everyone that you don't have to um, that you don't have to work if you don't want to. You'll get credits in your in, uh, in in the new B system that is being set up. It's all blockchain, so you get like five hundred credits when you wake up in the morning. You won't have your bank account anymore. I did some videos today. Bank of America, all their ATMs are down. Why is that? Um. Why is it that when I go to Chipotle, there's no black beans? They're out of black beans. I'm telling you. It has a trickle effect, so it takes time to get here. But they had a massive shutdown in Shanghai, which is one of the world's largest ports. There's another one in China as well, but Shanghai is the biggest. And because of that, you'll see a couple of months down the road, it's going to have a devastating effect here in the U.S. and all over the world. But it's going to hit the U.S. last. Um, the U.S. is definitely not the, the, the super world power it used to be. Ooh, not at all. Because, because the ones with a lot of money, the secret societies are trying to make sure that... There's too many people in this world. And since they have made a pledge with Satan himself, and there's a lot out there that have done that, to amass wealth. And the um, only thing is that they're going to have to, they're going to have to, um, they're going to have to pay for it. They're going to have to pay for it. The devil is the father of all lies. He came to cheat, steal, and destroy. He can give you power if you worship him. But it always comes as a price. It always comes at a price, should I say. So, anyways. Um, I'm getting into... Um, so, the other guy's name is... Um, is uh hold on 
Okay, so it's it's I am a whosoever. I dot a m I dot am dot a whosoever. So just like it sounds. I period a m period a whosoever. And that's it. All right, now let's go do the magical thing. Okay, one, two, three. Ready for my new haircut? Here it comes. Ta da! See that? That's the that's the beauty of smartphone technology and the cameras that we use. So, anyways, um, I forgot what I was the message I was gonna say. Um, I guess that was it. I think so, yeah. Um, there's a cool little ring that I picked up on Amazon. Um, it says Ephesians. It says, put on the whole armor of God. Ephesians 11 to 13. Ephesians 6, 11 to 13. And this is nice. It has this just something to remember. And this is my favorite. You know? And you guys know what that means if you look at it closely. Or should really be like this. So anyways, um, Just wanted to read this track out to you. Uh, Don't be left behind track, which is one of my favorites. Um, Jesus is coming back. God's book, the Bible, promises that Jesus will return to take his faithful followers to live with him in his glorious presence forever. That's found in John 14:3. Everyone else will be left behind to face the most difficult times mankind has known. When will that happen? The Bible made clear predictions about the times leading up to Christ coming for his own. It says that in those days people will be lovers of pleasure instead of God, truth breakers, blasphemers, unthankful, heartless, false accusers, without self-control. Just read uh, 2 Timothy 3, 1-5. through Clearly the evidence of these of those predictions being fulfilled is all around us. The news is filled with, re with reports of greed, murders, robberies, and immorality, as well as world, as well as a worldwide convulsion of violence and terrorism. All the signs seem to indicate that something will happen soon. After Jesus comes for his own, there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars, and on the earth the stress of nations, people fanning with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world, as written in Luke 21, 25 through 26. Everything will be in an upheaval, and there will be earthquakes, wars, violence, and people betraying one another. It all leads up to the ultimate rebellion against God, Armageddon. Despite the coming chaos on earth, some things will remain the same. What are they? The nature of God never changes. He is unchanging in His holiness and His righteousness. God said, For I, the Lord, do not change. That's in the book of Malachi 3 6. Don't let the nightly news frighten you. That's why I don't watch the news. God knows what's going on down here, and He will step in when the limit has been reached. Only He knows what that limit is. God's judgment is coming. That hasn't changed. The Bible says that the Lord will one day judge all the nations of the world. But also, God is unchanging in his love. He loves you and he has a plan for your life. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. It's found in John 10.10. 10. Something else that hasn't changed is the word of God, the Bible. The scriptures. The grass withers, the flower fades, 
but the word of our God will stand forever. Isaiah 48. What God says is unchanging. Human nature doesn't change. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 We're all sinners. Sinners by birth and by practice. We cannot be reconciled to God and go to heaven unless our sins are forgiven by God. That's why Christ came to earth the first time 2,000 years ago to die on a cross. And the promise of his return to earth to rule the nations hasn't changed. Christ said before he left, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Matthew twenty-five thirty-one. Since Jesus made that promise long ago, people have always asked, Where is the promise of his coming? In 2 Peter 3, 4. Has something gone wrong? No, everything is going according to God's timeline. God will come to bring peace and justice to earth. But until then, he is giving people time to change their minds about who he is and what he has done for them. The Lord is patience toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. That's in 2 Peter 3.9. Do you doubt that Jesus will ever return to earth to set things right? Are you living like you'll never face God as your judge? Then you're in danger of being left behind. The Bible says there's only one way not to be left behind. Admit, admit that you're a sinner in need of God's forgiveness. For we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross, came back to life from the grave, and is your only way to heaven. God shows his love for us that in that while we God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. Turn, turn from trusting in anything or anyone else for eternal life and trust only in Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 4.12 Accept Jesus' offer to forgive your sins and become your Savior. In Christ we have, the, we have the forgiveness of sins. And that's in Colossians 1.14 And if that's your heart's true desire, then, then welcome. But you have to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. You need to read the Word of God. And the Word of God actually reads you. And that's how you receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is basically the same thing as being born again. You must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. And so many people forget to mention this. You have to be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. For by default, we're all born into this world, live our lives, and our default nature is to go to hell. Yeah, because we live in a fallen world. And that's why God says you must be born again in spirit. And you will receive the spirit of the Lord, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will bring you into all truth. And then you'll be, be able to interpret the Bible. You'll be able to understand the truth. And the Holy Spirit gives you three main things that I've noticed in my life. Discernment. Wisdom. Which we need so much. And revelation. A lot of revelation. And uh, the spiritual warfare will be intense. But it's worth it because life here on earth is just a blip on the radar screen. It's so short. But eternal life is forever, forever. It doesn't end. And it can only be, you can only have eternal life in one of two places, heaven or hell. Everybody will be resurrected in the end. Every single person, whether you're a Buddhist or a Muslim, you'll, you'll be resurrected. Okay, you'll learn the truth. We just want my 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 goal is just to spread the word of God, to plant seeds, 
I can't change your mind. I can't change your mind at all. Only God can change your mind. But I can plant, I can plant a seed. And God, I pray that God nourishes his water, waters it so that it can grow up to be a beautiful fruit-bearing tree. You will know them by their fruits. And what is the fruit of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, um, faithfulness, long-suffering. I think I forgot one or two, but it's in the Bible. Just just Google a search for the fruit, the fruit of the Spirit. It's not the fruits. It's the fruit, because you have to have all of them. When you admit that you're a sinner and then you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, my sins, and the sins of the world, and that God raised them from the dead on the third day, and now he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come in his glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Then you are justified. And then begin, Then the sanctification part begins. The sanctification part begins Well, the Holy Spirit. The Bible verse, um, He who started a good work in you will see it to completion on the day of Christ Jesus when he's revealed to you. And we all know how he's going to be revealed to us. So, um, so yeah, it's not an instantaneous download, but it's rather a lifelong pursuit. And um, everybody's spiritual journey is is going to, according to God's plan. It's it's going to it's going a certain way. The way he wants it to be. But um, the important thing is that you do that. And that you receive the Holy Spirit. And you'll have a radical change in your life. Um, you'll see things like people don't see. Because a lot of truth will be revealed to you. Because everyone else will be kept in darkness. But now you're a child of light. And you are not in darkness anymore. Um, all these things can be found in the Bible. Read them. Read them. The Bible is the instruction manual to life. And I've been born again for four years. And I I wish that I was, I was born again a long time ago. But again, God says not to wallow in the past, but to just look towards the future and the, th and the things to come. And uh, there's a good parable in the Bible about um, the parable of the workers in the vineyard. And one of them was hired in the morning. Some were hired in the afternoon. Some were hired in the late afternoon. And at the end of the day, they were all paid the same wages. And they, and they complained. But basically God is saying that it doesn't matter when you start your spiritual journey in life. It's all the same to him. So, you may want to read that. Um, and that's really it. I just wish um, all of you a blessed day. And uh, let me leave you with the most powerful blessing. The priestly blessing. The ironic blessing that God himself gave. Um to his people and all, we we are all under the same God like it says in Romans 5 8 I believe whether Jew or, or, or Gentile some might say Greek we're all under God's uh, grace and mercy and peace and uh, and his love all of us doesn't matter so with that I just want to leave you with the ironic blessing the Lord bless you the Lord keep you 
May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you his shalom. Amen. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and Amen. God bless you. Until next time. Bye. Hi, Esperanza. Love you.